What's up? Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Working on the loft part here. Starting to get somewhere. Got a post in. And then it's secured up there to the truss. I'm marking out for my joist hangers, my joist spacing. And I wanted to give you a little tip. You can see I got a line here, another one there. And this is all I'm doing. So since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna be holding the square with my left hand, marking with my right. So if I line up, well, let me start that over. If I line up this first dash with my pencil mark on the previous one, I made a mark right there on the on the square, and then I'll continue that mark onto my lumber, and then I'll drop it down, mark it. So let's do that. Line it up. Make your mark. And there we go. And repeat the process. So we got some progress done. Got almost all the joists in. I was gonna do the last one. Show you guys what I came up with. So I got basically just a two by four up here. That way I can set all my two by tens or two by eights on it and then stand them up, put the hangers on. So you can see I got this marked. Board goes on the side with the X's. And I will show you what I do. All right. Get our board up here. So let's get our bracket on. So we wanna make sure the bottom of the joist is hanging on the bracket. So I'm pulling up with my thumb and also pushing it against this part, the LVL here. And then we'll put our screw in. That holds everything together. That way I can move it all around. This one's a little bit of a tight fit. So I didn't need to do that, but it's good good to have good to be able to use that when you need it. Now we're all lined up. Pull that guy out because I don't really need it in there. Make sure I'm on my my line. Should use structural screws for this, by the way. And there's one side. Board's a little twisted. But that's all right. We'll get it fixed. I'm gonna go to the other side and use this hanger and this screw to push it over. As 
is much better. We ain't building watches here, people.